on over to FST reporter Jocelyn Perez for her segment, Henderson Happenings. Joss, what do we have going on next week in our home sweet home? Thanks, Amanda, and welcome to this week's special edition of Thanksgiving Break Henderson Happenings. With tomorrow being the start of the long-awaited Thanksgiving break, I'm going to tell you about the events that are going to be happening. If you want to get into the holiday season spirit, consider entering in the 2016 Outdoor Holiday Decorating Contest. From now until November 28th, you can submit an application if your house is within the Henderson City limits. The year, this year's theme is Lights of Hope and Joy. For more information on how to enter the competition, you can go to www.fstnews.com and type holiday decorating competition into the, into the search bar. But if you don't want to get into the holiday spirit, you could always just go and check out the decorations. Another fun thing going on over break is the City Lights Art Gallery at City Hall. Open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. except for holidays. Right now, the gallery is doing a special feature on artist, Tuck, on, on artist Tommy Tucker and his out-of-this-world unique style and eye-catching designs when it comes to his art for a limited time. And last but not least, to really get you in the Turkey Day spirit, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving will be happening at the Whitney Ranch Recreation Center. Every year on November 19th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., the Whitney Ranch Recreation Center recreates a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving dinner with a spread of pretzels, popcorns, and of course, jelly beans. You can enjoy the authentic Charlie Brown Thanksgiving spread while, all, while watching the movie. Also at the event, there will be arts and crafts stations and a few bounce houses. It's a Turkey Day event you don't want to miss. That's all for this week's Henderson ha special, special Thanksgiving break edition of Henderson Happenings. Have a great week. Off Falcons. Now back to Amanda at the desk. Thanks, Jocelyn. 